this stuff that's all very, 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 very um, sterilized. And I remember four years ago the nurse teaching me, she's like, so with your port, make sure that all the nurses clean those the tips oh, very, yeah. very well. Because this goes important. into your heart. <laughs> and here you guys are aces at it. Some mm -hmm. other places that I've been. Not so much. They're a little lazy. <laughs> they'll do like one wipe. I'm like, wait, they do it really thoroughly at UCLA. Because <laughs> this goes into my heart. <laughs> I know, I've heard, I had a patient who said he was in Germany and they wouldn't even wipe it. Really? Just use it. I'm like, well, that's not, that's not very good. No. You shouldn't do that. Is this your first chemo admission? My, no, I was admitted twice four years ago. So my first time in four years. So I feel like it's like, I'm getting to see it from a different perspective now mm -hmm. that I've been doing this journey for four years. And I get to look at it differently. Four years ago, I was not traumatized by all of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now I'm more observing it. I'm going, okay, yeah. I know what to expect. I know what to drill. I kind of find it interesting. the way they do the gloves. It's really interesting. Okay, does it feel pretty dry? Mm hmm Okay, one, two, three. Good. Is it getting a good yep. return? Got it. What's neat about it is how you can take blood out of it and then you can put medicines into it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a lot better than getting poked every time. Oh, the last time I was here, last week actually, for bronchoscopy, the first nurse couldn't get a vein. She mm -hmm. it, 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 uh, collapsed on her. And then another nurse tried on the side of my hand, which killed. It hurt mm -hmm. so bad. It's actually the most painful Yeah. Spot. And I, was, I said that to her. She goes, it is. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> but she did it anyway. But she still couldn't. She could only take blood, but she couldn't IV, put an IV. And then the third person came in and she got it in the hand. <laughs> Why didn't they just use your blood? I don't know. <laughs> they That's the whole point of it. Exactly. Otherwise, you might need to get a little bit more blood. But we'll see what they say when they come in. Okay, sounds good. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, my beautiful daughter. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> we have a great view. I actually have a garden view this time. See, maybe I am at the Four Seasons. At least I can pretend anyway. We'll start with, so this is my room for the next five days. My lovely daughter is taking the video, the show. And then I have my signature dining menu, which when I came in four years ago, the, di the signature dining is actually pretty good. You get to order whatever you want off the menu. And they have like blueberry pancakes and salmon and breakfast quesadillas and you name it. But I'm a vegan now. So being plant-based, we just looked at it and there's stuff like... Um, tofu, grilled tofu, tofu and vegetables, Thai salad, 
um, oatmeal, peanut butter and jelly, although we're not sure if the bread's vegan, we'll find out. And um, anyway, oh, and their signature bowls too. You see that, Taylor? An Indian curry bowl. So, anyway, so I had a little more options on the plant base. Let me show you around my room. So I've got my drawers already ready. I've got my laptop in here. I've got like aromatherapy that I brought and a journal and nuts and my, my shrinker for my, uh, you know, and some snacks. Let me show you here. So when you go to the hospital, it's important to bring some of your own snacks. So I brought some healthy snacks, some sweet potato chips, some, some, some fruit so that daughter will bring in peanut butter and crackers, lots of tea. Your, your stomach, especially with chemo, sometimes when you're not hungry, but a nice cup of tea. So I brought hibiscus tea, mint tea, and a um, turmeric ginger tea. Got just minimal stuff, you know, obviously don't need a lot, but shampoo and conditioner is also a must when you're in the hospital because they give you like a shampoo conditioner in one. So anyway, when I do get to shower tomorrow, so just some basic toiletries. And I brought this aromatherapy spray because smells in the hospital just to kind of counter the, the smells in the hospital. And then just kind of my clothes, basic, not much, just tank tops and comfortable sweats. And I don't like wearing the hospital gowns, so I, I just do this instead, but I need to have a tank top so they can make sure my port stays accessed. When they hook me up to chemo today, I will be hooked up to a roller 23 hours a day. So you'll see that. And then that's it. This is pretty much the gist of it. And then my daughter is going to buy me a king size pillow across the street from Target because I forgot my pillow. Another key when you're in for chemo is to bring your own pillow. Their pillows are not comfortable. And we're going to bring a blanket from home because I forgot that as well. But we got everything else. A nice TV. And they have Netflix now. They did not have that four years ago. So we're about. We're ready to get going. They just have to order the chemo and there's a few more pre-meds they have to give me. They just gave me something to settle my stomach and they gave me a shot in my stomach to prevent blood clots. So we'll be rocking and rolling soon. Oh, and the other key this time is I brought a carafe so we could fill it with hot water from the dining room and I can make my hot tea anytime I want. Sometimes waiting for the nurse or the staff can take a while. So we make sure that we brought things to kind of help make this a little bit nicer. That's it.